IT is more than information technology. Inclusive technology. Influential technology. Intelligent technology. Instructive technology. Information technology at Western Kentucky University spans the campus, the state, and the world, bringing connectivity, innovation, and service to the WKU community. The campus, located in Bowling Green, Kentucky, just 120 miles south of Louisville, has an IT infrastructure that extends to more than one campus. IT at WKU is about providing our faculty and staff and students with the best technology out there to help them achieve their goals, all the while propelling us towards the future. I can't even imagine Western Kentucky University without the infrastructure that it has to keep us connected wherever we are. We've got a YouTube world, we've got a Twitter world, we've got a social media world of which has emerged so fast that our students are more the experts than us. And so having access to that and allowing students to be on the cutting edge allows our students to be developed as leaders in those areas. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, knowing that I can go from class to class and check my homework using my iPod Touch, using the wireless internet. Being an integral part of the campus infrastructure brings unique challenges to the staff of IT while opening up the opportunity for innovation. When I have a problem with IT, they usually can walk me through it over the phone, or if they can't walk me through it over the phone, they're very quick about coming out and fixing the problem. But they're also able to help me identify new ways to do things that, you know, they're able to help me see beyond my borders and, and find ways to, to be more creative in my approach. That's what I see our information technology folks doing is saying, okay, here is the, the latest thing coming down the pipe. Is this something we want? Is this something we want to try to avoid? Do we somehow do something ourselves that's better than this? And really being just two or three steps ahead of the game. Right at two years ago, they were testing a product called Adobe Connect Pro to see how it would work across campus and we got to pilot it for our online tutoring program. Otherwise, students at the extended sites wouldn't be able to take advantage of the free tutoring that main campus students do. Customer service is the hallmark of the IT division at WKU. We do take the approach that the customer is always right and we try to understand what the customer needs. So we, we tell the, the student to be sensitive to the needs. If, if there's something extra that needs to be done while they're there, even if the case doesn't mention setting up a printer or, or whatever it may be, we encourage them to, to go the extra mile. The service that IT provides us with has really evolved over the years. I've been here 20 years. So we've gone from having to wait for somebody to show up in your office to work on something to simply having them give you a code over the phone. They sit in their office, I sit in my office, and they solve the problem from there. The IT people are very friendly, and I, it amazes me every day how many people they serve. They serve not only faculty, staff, and students, but thousands of people a day, and there's not ever a time that they're not helpful and friendly. I could not make it and do my job without them. I've called from my house when I've had a work-related issue, and they've helped me with that, and they always have followed up with me. If there's something that needs to be taken care of later, they are great at calling you back or sending you an email saying, did this get resolved? Is there anything I need to do? The departments within the IT division at WKU bridge the educational and intellectual goals set by the university. From servicing labs to aiding instructors and students, IT uses inventive problem solving to make WKU a leader in providing technology services and support. From the very beginning, we sat down with John Bowers and the crew that started with us to look at what were our needs, what kind of equipment would best meet the classwork that they were going to do. And we actually built it from scratch together. And finding that that is a real comfortable partnership now because it's, I'm addicted to it in some sense because I know they'll have the answers as we're looking forward. There's, we're always getting emails, you know, Blackboard's always being updated, things are always being improved upon, and I think they're always looking for new ways, you know, sending out surveys, how can we better serve you? If you have an iPhone, would this app help you with your classes? I think they're always looking for new ways to use technology to help their students further their education um, with technology. 
Information is the key to any educational institution, and the WKUIT division has the unique ability to both disseminate information and create content for various media outlets. WKYU-PBS and WKYU-FM are award-winning public media stations. Each creates educational, entertaining, and thought-provoking programming that serves the larger community. Uh, WKYU PBS and WKYU FM bring that to us. It gives us access to a world perspective that again increases our ability for international reach. It gives us a sense of understanding of what's going on within the world that our local news media might not be able to provide us because they have such a short timeline. Well, I can't imagine the university without the possibilities that we have to connect through television, radio, and internet. The TV show that I was involved with, I did the content, but really other than that, you couldn't tell that I was involved at all because it looked so slick. Bringing the outside world to WKU is done through various types of software and technology. IVS, or Interactive Video Services, allows instructors to teach classes on multiple campuses, while Skype and video streaming lets professors talk to distant faculty and students while allowing them to see what's going on in remote locations. You know, through IVS I've been able to see they'll get a class from U L. you know, for the engineering department that they wouldn't otherwise be able to get. And I think that it kind of helps you build um, relationships with people even, you know, in other cities or even in other countries where we can do a video conference. I have used the interactive video services, the IVS service, for um, an interview that we did. I was on an interview panel and we were conducting interviews via Skype. And so that was the first time I had ever done a Skype interview with someone, but it was really telling and it was very interesting to do that. And I think more and more offices are using that kind of capability more and more. Someone once said information is air. And so information technology is basically the pipeline for us to breathe. You know, we're able to use it, as, again, as a medium to bring a flow of communication, a flow of ideas in a way that is empowering, I guess, the world around us. Uh, I think online education is really a powerful way to connect people from different cultures, different areas. I believe students can learn equally well through online education. Um, this really changed my belief before. A strategic use of technology partners has allowed the IT division at WKU to more effectively serve the campus community. I see the university as such a hotbed for companies who are looking to get their technologies in the hands of thousands of young people, and it's a great opportunity for them to do that. A company can be assured that if they partner with us, we would facilitate getting their product into the hands of students in a manner that would best showcase their technology. IT is more than information technology. For the people at WKU, it's ingenious technology, inspirational technology, Impressive technology. Inclusive technology. Immense technology. Instant technology. Immeasurable technology. Simply said, with us, IT matters. Western Kentucky University is a very special place. This is a campus of leaders and doers. Our heritage extends back well over 100 years when our founding president, Dr. Henry Hardin Cherry, challenged our students to be and to do something and challenged our faculty to ring the rising bell of the human soul. It is reflected in our motto, the spirit makes the master. That spirit and energy permeates every aspect of our university. This is a university that is alive and on the move. The spirit of accomplishment and innovation is present everywhere on campus and no more so than our information technology division. Our 154 full-time employees are friendly, creative, and industrious with a laser-like focus on customer service. We are keen to find new and innovative solutions that will help our students, faculty, and staff achieve their educational and professional goals. WKU is a place where we actively seek innovative opportunities with the corporate community. It starts from the top. Our president, Dr. Gary Ransdell, has been president for 15 years and has an agreement with our Board of Regents to serve as president through 2022. Dr. Ransdell employs a corporate management model 
He encourages the vice presidents of each of the university's divisions to run their division as if it were their own company. He models a collaborative and entrepreneurial leadership model. He is dedicated to excellence. He is determined that WKU will be a leader in every field that we participate in. And that includes IT. We have a track record of innovation and success. The studio that I am sitting in was the first public broadcasting studio in the country to use all LED lighting. We pioneered a new application of a new technology. We reduced our carbon footprint by 97%, while at the same time significantly enhancing functionality. This is simply one example of the groundbreaking work that our staff has accomplished. As a business watching this video, why should you care? Because here at WKU, we have the leadership, the vision, the resources, the entrepreneurial spirit, and the technical know-how to pioneer new technologies and pursue new opportunities. You won't have to navigate through layers of red tape to work with us. If we see an opportunity, we are empowered to pursue it and to make it real. So if you have a new product or service for the higher education technology market, and you're looking to pilot it in a welcoming and supportive environment, talk to us. We're interested in establishing long-term collaborative relationships with the corporate community. We are well on our way of achieving our vision of becoming a leading American university with international reach. I invite you to join us on that journey. Thanks for watching.